How satisfied are you with the quality of your team? If you were to rate them on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being superior and one being terrible, where do you think you would end up? Would they be at a four or a five? I find in talking to business owners that that's typically the case. They rate them their employees as a team at a four or five level. And so I ask why, how did that happen? How did you, how did you hire a team that rated out at four or five. And inevitably what happens, I find, is that they the answer is that they are were in such a rush to fill a vacancy that they hired a good candidate, but not a great candidate. So that's what I want to focus on this, this five-part series that I'm creating. We're going to look at how to help you build a superior team. And the first step in that journey is this video. This video is gonna focus on what it takes for you, even before you do a job posting, to get clear around defining who your ideal candidate is, what qualities they need to possess, um, and, and to look at long-term where this person ideally would fit into your organization. Once we've done that, you'll be in a better position to identify who would be a great candidate for you. So let's get started. My role here is to help you understand that average employees, and I define an average employee as an employee that does the work you give them, they have little in, uh, incentive, there's a little initiative on their part, they're not highly motivated, they're just, they're, they're there to get paid. You know, they're, they're working for you for a paycheck. So that's not the kind of employee that is gonna help you take your business to the next level. We need to get a superior employees on your team. And when I say superior, there is a McKenzie study that came out recently that said superior employees are 400 times more productive than an average employee. So yeah, you gotta pay them a little more, but at the end of the day, you're well ahead because they're producing so much more work for you than the average employee. So the question then becomes, all right, so how do I find those superior employees? First thing you've got to do is you've got to get really clear on the roles and responsibilities of each position that you're looking to hire. Clarity around what's going to be expected of them, how they're going to do it. You need to have procedures documented in terms of how they are to do the processes that you're expecting them to do. You also need to get a handle around what sort of um, technical skills are going to be required and as well what personal skills are you going to require for this position. You know, I find a lot of times that people overlook the personal side of things. They hire based on technical skills alone, meaning it's a great carpenter the, or it's a great web designer or a great roofer or a great doctor or whatever, but they don't pay attention and they don't ask in the interviews about personal traits that are important to the position. And so what happens is, yeah, the person's a great carpenter, but they're always late. They're a terrible communicator. It's, they, they, are, they do your business a disservice when talking to the homeowner. They are argumentative. You know, all of these things can cause an employee who has great technical skills to be a really bad employee for your team and lower morale. These are the people that we got to farm out before you even make an offer for them. And there are ways to do that. I've got some questions around 26 competency personal trait roles that I'd be glad to share with you if, if you, uh, when we talk. So, you know, so personal skills, uh, professional skills are so important. And then you also need to get clarity around the role you see this person filling going forward. Are you hiring person that, a person that is not gonna be able to grow with your business as you grow? Is this person kind of locked in on where they are in the current role because they don't have the skills or the ability to expand as the company expands? That's not somebody you want to have on your team. You need to hire someone that can grow with your business and help you grow. Because when you get a team full of people like this, highly, highly competent, high quality people, they will reduce the number of errors. They will free up time for you because you're not having to get involved in correcting mistakes that the other team members made. 
They will allow you to take three or four weeks on vacation because the business is running as well with you gone as it does when you're there. So if this sounds like the start of a journey that you'd like to go on, give me a, reach out to the on the side of the video. There's a link to my Calendly calendar and let's schedule no cost 30 minute conversation. I'd be glad to share with you some some ideas on how to get started and, um, you know, look forward to a conversation.